color were giving it a text color were saying position absolute so um it doesn't so it can overlap on other elements okay that's what position absolute will do for us and the most important thing here the only thing you actually need cuz all this stuff you don't actually need okay it's just so it makes it look good the only thing you need is the visibility hidden okay and what that says is when you first open this page let me grab it again when you first open this page it will um the tooltips will not be shown if i take away the visibility hidden here on these two you can see when we first load the page the tooltips are shown when we hover over it they're shown and we have to go out of them once to make them disappear but with visibility hidden in there when we first load the page they won't be showing okay and only when we hover over will they show um, so that's the most important thing uh, now let's take a look back at this uh, tooltip function all we're doing now after uh, our function declaration uh, is we're saying if show hide if the variable show hide is equal to show okay lowercase that is as well remember javascript is case sensitive then document dot get element by id and then we're using the element id we were supplied dot style dot visibility if we go into the style we can see the visib that this spelling is exactly the same as this spelling equals visible okay otherwise uh blah 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 dot visibility is equal to hidden okay because the only other thing it can be apart from show is hide okay and for that reason if we go back to the um, code the HTML we can see on the on mouse over event we supply show but the, on the on mouse out event because it's in an else we don't have to supply anything we can just leave it blank okay um, so that's pretty much it you should all have an idea of how to do this um, I'm just gonna cover it quickly the Sorry, excuse me. So, um, the first thing you need is an image, uh, and then you make an image tag in the source of your HTML, and you give the source of the image equal to the image that you made. Uh, then you need to make an all mouse over, and the it has to be a call to a function. Uh, you could make up your own function if you want. You can call it whatever you want. You could also use two functions, uh, however you want to do it. Uh, in this case, I'm calling the function tooltip with an argument show, and if we take a look at the func at the function, it's checking uh, if sh the show hide variable is equal to show, then make it visible. So that's why we have to supply the show argument. Then we have to supply the element ID so that it knows um, what element it needs to make the visibility styling equal to visible. Okay, so we have to supply that element. If we don't supply that element, let's just take a look at what happens. You can see it doesn't call the on mouse over event, okay? So that's why we need to supply that that uh whoops, refresh. There we go. That's why we need to supply the element ID. And if we take it out of here, then uh refresh a couple of times. You can see when we come back out, it doesn't disappear. So the element ID, uh, whoops, is uh, very important. But also, if we don't supply the show part here and refresh, it won't show. So both those um, both those arguments are crucial. Okay. Once you've done all those calls, uh, any on mouse over and on mouse out events, you have to make sure that you have a div with an ID equal to the same element ID as supplying in the function calls you can see here when I highlight this it highlights this because this is exactly the same as this that's what my text editor does you can see all three of these are highlighted okay <coughs> uh, and inside that div you need to put the tooltip you want to show and then the second most important thing is making sure that in the styling of that uh, div you make sure always that the visibility is set to hidden so when you first run the page it doesn't show okay only when you hover over it shows okay uh... whoops 
Um, I think that concludes it, really. Uh, I'm going to put the code up. Uh, excuse me. I'll put it in a uh, paste bin, probably. And I'll supply the links to the paste bin in the... Uh, what's it called? The description. So, uh, anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Um, this is a cool little feature. As I said before, you can apply it to lots of different things. So, uh, have fun with it, and over and out.